Good morning, everyone. Good morning. It is Wednesday, May 20th, and we're talking about God can fill in the gaps for you. God can fill in the gaps for you. It comes from Psalm 127, verse 2. In vain you rise early and stay up late, toiling for food to eat, for he grants sleep to those he loves. Psalms 127, verse 2. All right, let's pray. Good morning, Kirk. Good morning, Steve. Good to see you guys this morning. Doing a little bit different outside today. So let's pray. Lord Jesus, thank you for today. Thank you, God, for the opportunity to be in your word. Thank you for the opportunity to be outside. The weather's getting nicer. And Lord, just thank you for the beautiful day that you've given to us. Thank you for your love and your grace and your mercy, your forgiveness and strength for today. We ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, today, talking about God can fill in the gaps for you. It says, I feel like I can't keep up, she says, as we talk about how she's managing work, family, and other responsibilities in the middle of a difficult season. I try my best not to fall behind, but it takes a toll on me, physically, emotionally, and even spiritually. What should I do? I gently smile and reply, go home and take a nap. When hard days come, we tend to carry on with life as usual. We put on a brave face and continue trying to make it to every event on our calendars and check off all the items on our to-do list. We may even increase what we're doing in an effort to make things better. Over, yet over time, we find our energy and joy draining away. It's okay to cut back sometimes. It's all right to say, at another time, I would love to do that, but I simply can't right now. It's allowable to admit I really need some extra rest right now. You're not a human treadmill, and you can't sustain the same pace all the time. That's simply not how we're created. When we think about pulling back or slowing down instantly, we can feel the fear. What will happen? The answer, whatever happened, whatever needs to happen, because God will fill in the gaps for what you lack right now. Jesus turned a new fish or a few fish, not new fish, <laughs> Jesus turned a few fish and loaves of bread into a meal for thousands. He can turn whatever you have to offer into enough too. Sometimes we need to step back to realize in the best possible way that the world doesn't rely on us as much as we think. Everything can go on just fine without us for a bit. Here's the catch. We'll never know that unless we take time off now and then. It does our hearts good to have a little reality check once in a while. When we rest, we're reminded that we're not God. At a minimum, we each need a weekly Sabbath, especially when we're facing a challenging situation in our lives. God gave us the Sabbath as a gift. It's a time for our bodies, hearts, and minds to be restored. Because we're people of grace, it isn't about keeping a law, but instead receiving what we need. And that looks different for each of us. I practice a weekly Cyber Sabbath when I unplug from everything electronic for one 24-hour period. You might have a physical job, and in that case, you might sit down and plug in for the same amount of time. Ask, ask God what you need on that day to be restored. The other days, we can live with a Sabbath heart as well. That means knowing we're not responsible for the universe. It's believing God can turn whatever we have to give into what's needed even if we believe we should be able to do more. It's trusting that we are not on this earth for striving and work, but for worship. You have permission to slow down, do less, and rest more today. Boy, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that are thinking that first paragraph was written for them, especially <laughs> with school, homeschooling, and because of the yeah. not being in school and work and keeping up with the house and... It's a lot of juggling yeah, that is. you have to do, and and I know school's coming to an end. I think I think this week is the last week of school for most, but yeah. for most people here anyway. Yeah. Well, life gets so busy at times, and we push, 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 and that's kind of the way we're driven in society too. So yeah. But God does want us to take back, take a chance, and sit back, just watch. 
and listen and hear his voice. And I know I, I'm not one to talk because I push, push, push too. And uh, I think we all have lessons we can learn in this situation to take that Sabbath and... That and, Cyber uh, Sabbath? Yeah. That's a good idea. That's your day. I don't know how many more of you have that problem too, but it seems like so many things are electronic. I know I find most of my studying, my, you know, all everything I do now is on electronics. So it's, um, it's something that's probably needed too. They might have a little problem out here with uh, connection there. So anyway, we will let you uh, go. We're going to pray and close for the day. Looks like we're having connection. So if you're cutting in and out, that's the reason. Lord, we thank you for today. Thank you, God, for your word. Thank you again for your encouragement today, knowing that, God, that you have everything in control. Lord, even when we lack, you are there and you can make up for it. And we're just thankful that you are an almighty God, the almighty God that you are in our lives and in the lives of the people that we love and care for and are around us, the people that uh, we're trying to impact every day, Lord, and trying to and trying to love on, Lord. I pray that you'll use us today as your vessel, knowing that, God, we're not everything, but you are everything. And we ask it in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. You know, my mom used to always say that you don't need a three-hour nap. Just take 15 minutes. So maybe if you can just get away for 15 minutes just to regroup and rest and breathe, it might be an encouragement to you. Amen. God bless you guys. Have a great day.